He's left alive for them. They are looking hungry. They've got the best kind of ridge line as well, I want to say. They've got a good job onto potentially not even only a drop, it can BBL. If the, depending on how the next zone is obviously going to go, and who's going to have to move first, as it is phase nine. But also on towards Foot Esports. They've got a pretty good vision, as I've said. They might just peek over. First of all, it's going to be in traffic facing a BBL. As Sheila's trying to get that initial knock. Yanni very low, but both of these guys will get the first aid off. Almost a thousand damage club for Vard as Beamy cleans up a team. That's Entropic gone on the northern side of the road. They have to turn their attention swiftly, but he pulls there, ready and waiting. Another knock. Now make out 16 kills for Fairy Tail. They'll get the revive onto Zubila as well. Beamy. It looks like oh, he is, oh. he's not getting his way in here, but BBL have taken the opportunity. They're pushed across the road, and Kron has to be there, ready and waiting. Yes, he has to. First aid is coming on through. BBL has to expect Sabila just down there. As the, excuse me, not Sabila. Sabila's obviously played out, but I mean, Kron down there with the Groza gets taken down by Schiller. What an easy and important frag for him as he peeks over the ridge line. No problem for him at all. Second frag in the round. April goes down. We'll take that for Beamy a second place. He's going to give it up to the blue zone. Nothing he can do. Three or four guys alive, potentially taking uh, taking it to BPL here towards the end. But yeah, it's uh, I have to I have to look back at that and see if it was actually worth it for them to go uh, that much of a greedy split or not. Wins. He spotted out Hello Senpai. And he takes him down immediately, looping. Knocked the hole. That is such a cheeky flash. No Light check. It might just get this one. It's one more bullet. It's only 10 damage being dealt, though. And Liu stays alive for at least a second longer, as Twisted Minds might have the opportunity to go for the rest. I think his Apple is already on it. Just need to be careful now. Oh, that Molotov maybe would have been impactful a second earlier, but at this point it might just come too late. BB team still four man strength. Spyro already trying to get more space now towards the low W players as Broken Bones now have to defend this warehouse. And he's got the passive house in hand as the first knock goes the way to BRB, anyways. Good name coming out from Aruna. Molotov to buy the time. Oh, the vehicle exploded and flushed out Schengen as well. That Panzerfaust still could come in clutch, but it might not be the way that they anticipated as the push is coming through from the opposite side. BB team tossing Molotovs in, covering every doorway, but smoke grenades flying all around. Maruna does get taken down by a doozy. Swichak is still looking for toes, but he can try and poke. And hello, Senpai. Oh, he's not going to love to see this, but no, Skinzy fires it wide, but does get the win anyway. Oh, yes, he does. Go to Hesha coming out. In the meanwhile, though, Twisted Minds putting in the hard work. Zoe's BB team. Both of them secure massive amounts of frags. And there we go. BRB yeah, has to kind of wrap out of the warehouse. And BB team so consistent with them blue zone grenades as well, making sure to pop them at the exact right amount of time. And so is Twisted Minds. Lou, last player, Sully standing. Left standing in this complete entire match for BB team to push. Oh, and Fit First gets it as well. Points here in this. Broken Bones of 15 and Twisted Minds 14. And as the guys mentioned, on this win, they secure their spot that little bit more. Still doesn't guarantee anything. Let's bear in mind there's still two games left to go. Anything could happen. It's very unlikely to happen. It's perfect. It's getting out of this spot alive. Phase eight, blue zone at his back. The jammer pack runs out of juice. Spyro pushing forwards, trying to dislodge bright side. The third <sighs> grenade will do so. The fairy tail spread out wide along the southern side. Just can't answer back. They've lost their IGL. Gotta be careful, a doozy. Someone is creeping up on your eastern side, and that is Kron. And if Kron gets that entry into a doozy, it might just all fall apart, but at least the care package is there to support them a bit. bit. And with Bright Side knocked, they've lost the very front line as well. Fairy tale. That big split might just come to bite them. Depending on how the next fights go, a doozy now very aware of this edge. Kron has been laying down, so I don't think the audio cue has been given towards him, but he still needs to make a move, and that's the flush going through with Bright Side. Well, before he goes down, Aduzi will take down Perfectix, long range SLR spam on the opposite side of the zone, gets the job done, hops in the vehicle. He's very aware that Kron might have pushed up in this position. He knows that his team doesn't have vision towards it. He's not going to let himself fall victim to anything like that. And now the score is evened. Three versus three. BB team looking for their third win of the day. A back to back across Tago and Vikendi. Trying to find a position that gives him the best opportunity. A smoke grenade between Bestalock and Kron. But an exchange of grenades might just signal it's time for Kron to fall back. But he does not get a chance. Besto, a huge spray around the side. And the sneaky play comes undone so, so quickly. So, so quickly indeed. April and Zabila now the last one's alive on that ridge line. Peaks got on over through. And Doozy gets one. The boss Zabila can trade things out, doesn't he? For a day here in our group stage, it'll be cool to see.
Pretty cool. Three wins for them, three chicken dinners. And- place for sure. At the moment, he just can't seem to find them. If you'll allow me to be British for a second, I'm just baffled at what the carnivores have done in this. Like, surely they knew that the BRB was still one up in the compound. They were close enough to have heard all the gunshots, maybe just uh, slipping their mind, not reading the kill feed properly, not holding on to that information, but just exposing too much of themselves as they try to make that push up towards Lol W, cleaning up Pod Samolet on the opposite side. It's Honestly, when you get to a certain level, it's pretty inexcusable to make those kind of mistakes. Of course, this is one of their first times running out at a lobby of this level, but those are the things that are the difference between those top-level teams and teams that maybe don't have that quite same level of experience. But he still has the chance to make up for the mistake as Free Kill makes a quick dash out from the, the smokes, gets to the tree for cover. And he can't provide cover from both sides. Long range grenade oh, almost bounces around the right side, but it just feeds the kill directly over to Schengen. Now Azazel has no choice but to take this 1v1 head on. Schengen is already looking for the lurk. You can see, tries to make something happen over the western side. I think he's somehow, I think you can kind of feel where Schengen is probably playing as he expects the ridge line just in front of him, but there's a Groza on the other side, and he's got a broken level three burst. This might just be an indication that maybe Azizel has kind of an advantage in, in, in the fights that's to come. He looks for the right side peak, no one's there, and Azizel is still unknown. Ridge is left, right, and center. Azizel. Oh. Oh, played like they should be celebrated. They came in from the northern side, they took control of that whole hill, and they played extremely well. Being able to put 14 kills on the board here in second place is. 20. Some kind of return fire, but SG oh, no. using another play. It is Celtic that's been dropped, and this all plays perfectly into the hands of James. <laughs> yeah, it's showing us that it's quite a carry spot right now. He's got the nade ready. I think he expects someone to be that close, but I think we know. Oh, no, there is. Obviously, there is someone close. Mazella, I thought he got killed in the crossfire, but no, he's just down there. So, with that James nade not working out, has... he still remains. He's got 13 first aids and a med kit, so he's definitely come prepared to survive. That oh. might work against him though, but a big spray around the side as Mr. Shimada, Shimada tried to pull back. He's oh, his own no. grenade that drops him. That's a sixth kill of the game for James, but oh, it's not no. a placement point. But it is now because finally Sticky Gummies have been eliminated, completely removed. How that has happened from their position. BB team just absolutely dominating them. Spyro with the opening spray to take two down. Phil first with the headshots with the AWM. And BB team now lining up their fourth winner winner chicken dinner of the day. And it just feels unfair. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, crazy, honestly, I just, I would just leave it right there. Crazy that James made it that far. Last two players are being cleaned up.